Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Lovely Life Mallorca. I'm Andrew, and today we're at Santa Ponsa. It's a little bit windy today, and so it shows up with the waves, as you can see, but I'm hoping it's not going to upset the day too much. Today, we're going to go for a little walk around, have a look what shops and restaurants are open, and just generally getting a little feel of the place. So, come along for the walk with us. As you can see here, the tracks has already been down here. So I'm just going to leave the beach now, so I've put the mask back on. We're going to just do a little walk, as I said. We're going to walk up the road towards the tree, and then we're going to take a right-hand side and see what pubs and restaurants are open, and then back to the tree and back on the other side to the left-hand side, and then just going to see, just make up as we go along, basically, like I normally do. So I'm just going to head towards the tree, I'm going to turn right on the tree and to have a little, little look down there to see what restaurants, cafes, etc. are open. Just see what's, what's happening at the moment. Since I last did a walk around, I have noticed there are a few more places, places open and also there's a lot more people walking around. Just generally having a, having a nice relaxing time. A few more cafes to go in. And a few more of these little tourist shops open, like this one here, selling, selling shoes and flip-flops, etc. This is why I said I'm going to be going to turn right here. Now, just down this road here, I'd say it's very, uh, very tourist place, really, just down here with um, a good handful of cafes. A few hotels here, down this part. But everywhere you look up there, as you can see, it's got SOS Turismo. So it's still evidence of the coronavirus everywhere. Hopefully, soon all that will be behind us and we'll, have, we'll look forward towards the summer. It's a little bar open across the road. Restaurant. It is so quiet around here. It's so peaceful. Looks mini golf just over there. This is ridiculous, isn't it? For the middle of May, and it's like this. It's quite a nice bright day today. It's a little bit of a, a wind. We had a little bit of rain earlier, but luckily it didn't come to anything. This is our wind. It's very much like a ghost town, isn't it? So, so far up this part, I've seen three restaurant, cafe, bars open. And I'm going to take a, take a walk back now and have a little look from the, the roundabout going in the other way. There should be a few more places open up that way from the tree going to the left. So I'm back on the roundabout again. I'm going to go straight over here. Got some of the council workers painting the seats. Nice to see some kind of maintenance being done, isn't it? So it's the same, 600 steps. If you do these steps, when you're on holiday, at least once a week, you'd soon lo lose the pounds you put on through the alcohol, wouldn't you? And then when you think you've got to the top, you just look across the road and it gets you by surprise.
Well, it definitely puts a smile on my face when I will see the last few. Joe, years ago I was so fit, I could have gone up those steps without really pushing myself. But my God, now, oh, it's incredible. But of course, if you do want to cheat and still see this view, there is a road at the top. Well, what goes up must come down. So, I might as well, it's not going to go anyway by thinking about it, is it? So, I've still got lots of filming to do yet. So, come on then. The wind's, the wind's gone down a bit now. The sun's come out, it's quite nice and warm. So let's make the most of the day. Well, it's just the last few steps now. I've made it 600 steps each way. It's a bit of exercise, isn't it, if you do that every day. Now I'm gonna turn right here, and then I'm gonna to head towards the center, the square. Since I was here last, I said earlier, there were a good more restaurants, stroke bars, cafes open. It's actually getting, feel a little bit more like a holiday resort now, even though we haven't got any, or many holiday makers here. It's definitely um, that feel of the place now. I do love these trees, you know, how, how each one's cut. I was going to say perfectly, but they're, they're nowhere near perfect, really, but they do look very um, artistic, should I say. But when you're here just walking around, you actually realise how important the tourism is, don't you? As I say, there's so many hotels here, and without the tourists, there's nothing, is there? Does a a good handful of locals but it's not maybe it's not enough for the um for the local cafe bars but they seem to be giving it a good try don't they flowers just look lovely don't they So you've got a little split in the road here now. I normally take the left hand side, which leads you to the, um, the centre. A couple of little cafes down here. And then the road can take you around to several beaches and things. I don't think they're linked. You can't walk round to Santa Ponta from there, I don't think. But it's lovely to just go and have a look from there. So I'm going to take you around there and and just have a look what's what's like around there for you. But if you take the right hand, to, in other words, carry on around the road, you do link up to the uh, the other part of the road that we went originally to the right of the tree. It's just it's a big circle goes around there. But this is the square itself. One bar open down there. I can imagine round here of an evening in the season. It's probably mobbed round here, isn't it? The gardens look so nice, don't they? Got a few more bars round here. Little fountain just down there. A few little, as I said, there's some bars down there, a few children's rides, pool tables. Oh, they need a good clean, won't they, before they're used. There's a church over there as well, Santa Ponta Community Church and a nursery school next to it. A little bandstand. But that'd be nice to have a bit of live music on, wouldn't it? It's 
yeah, I could really imagine this being really chocker. Now just come back on myself, carried on the path round. And I said this leads to several hidden beaches, should I say? Oh, there's a bar open there. It's strange what makes one bar busy or have a few in and the other one got nobody in, doesn't it? Let's go and check out these other bar, these other beaches. Just a little bit further round from the bars. Um, I'm walking parallel to the sea now. As you can see down there. Still a lot of hotel stroke apartments round here. When I mean, you are walking, I don't know how many of you have spotted this before. I think it's lovely seeing the uh, teddy bears in um in like in a settee with the umbrellas all around them. I think it's brilliant. I have to look at it every time. It looks so sad, doesn't it, to see the windows either whitewashed or papered up when they should be so busy. And I just love going down steps. Obviously I've got to go back up them again. But you could just have a come down here. It's a beautiful view all around from down there. Unfortunately, as far as I know, you can't walk round to Santa Ponsa main beach from here. No, just as expected, you can't get round there. But it's a beautiful view though, isn't it? Look how fierce the sea is. When I last walked around here, this little swimming pool here was empty. So it just shows you how fierce the sea's been, doesn't it, to fill, it, fill the swimming pool up. When I did my little film round here a couple of weeks ago with the drone, this is what I was filming. It was such a different story in it today with all these waves and this high wind. But unfortunately, I won't be taking the drone out today. As you can see, it's very, very windy. It's so different though to see the, um, the sea in such different, different ways from being so flat to being so, um, So wavy, so windy. It's incredible. You, you only realise when it's like this how dangerous the sea actually is for swimming. And during my last video with the drone, I shall put up the link at the end of the film for you to look at it. That is what I actually took round the back fall here. So it's sort of it's very. Very interesting, should I say, but they've actually um, locked the gate so you can't get through without jumping the wall. And I'm not going to do that again today. So this is the wall that you have to jump over the top. I mean, another one of the reasons, the main reason I didn't want to go around the front is where it's so windy today, the, uh, the rocks are going to be um, ever so wet, aren't they? And it's going to be very dangerous. So just as I get into the square again, Centre Ponsa, I've taken this little junk, little turning. This will nicely take us down to the beach where we should be able to go along the beach road down to um, Santa Ponsa main beach. 
So it's just going to take us a little walk down these steps. These gardens look lovely, don't they? I just love looking at the different colours of the sea. It's really bright blue, doesn't it? And then the, the whites from the waves. And then further comes in, it goes really dark. God, what a beautiful place to stay or live along here. I should imagine these uh, apartments were pe people's own apartments for the holiday. Cause I've just seen some linen outside and things. This is taking a bit of uh, the wind, isn't it, in the winter? Bit of a bashing. And what I've just seen today, a little bit further around, is um, a lot of wind, wasn't it? Seems strange here though, it doesn't seem so fierce. Just here on the corner. Now I should imagine here, these deck chairs and sun beds are all privately owned. Because all chained up. You might as well bring your own down here if you haven't got any holiday makers, might you? Lovely to see places all ready to open in it. It's just at a drop of a hat. So when you actually see this sort of thing, like with the boat, you do actually realise how unpredictable the sea is, don't you? You really just can't take it for granted. Because if you can do that to a, an object like a boat, it's scary to think how it can, um, due to swimmers, isn't it? So back on our little path now. It'd be a big, what I've walked so far would be quite difficult if you had bad walking or real chill, something, something along those lines. But as soon as you come to here, as this is a nice path here, I should imagine that this would be quite ideal for pushing buggies, etc. Santa Ponce is everything that you, you'd like from your holiday. It's in a sandy beach, the rocks, if you like walking over the rocks, got some shops, cafes, bars. Even got a port, if you like to go and have a look at your boats, there's a port over there. Now we come a bit in land, should I say, with the hotels around us, you can really feel the drop in the um, in the wind. Well, let's let's go for a little paddle. Obviously, now I'm on the sand. I've taken my mask off, so it's quite nice, isn't it?
God, it feels a little bit on the chilly side today. So it's really strange, one minute it doesn't seem to be a lot of wind, the next minute there's loads of wind and the um, canopies are all blown all over the place in the restaurants. When you think normally this time of the year, being the middle of, middle of May, this beach should be so mobbed, shouldn't it, with people. And this, the sea should have people swimming in it as well, shouldn't they? I don't know. I mean, hopefully it will be covered shortly. Look how windy it's become. So I'm back on my promenade now, so the mask has gone back on now. So just going to have a little look around, see what cafes at the lower part are open, and have a look around the, um, the shops and the cafes. And then uh, the bit of walk just about finished then. So just by the beach here is this little little path. Now this little path has the, the market and things on. And in the summer, normally this is, they have a few festivals around here, don't they, and things. So this is where they're from all around here. Been some lovely, lovely little um, parties around here the other year. It does look lovely though, doesn't it? It's just a shame it's so windy today. And it's a nice little path this though, isn't it? You see um, where the tractor came around here earlier as well, digging up the sand. And then down that way, this way you've got the um, the centre where the buses, taxis, and that sort of thing are down the bottom of the town. This is nice. I haven't, I haven't seen this little fountain before. I don't know if it's new or not. I do like that. That's nice, isn't it? So I've come off the beach now, the beach path. Got a few cafes round here. I'm going to take a right hand turn now. I'm going heading towards the port. Some lovely cafes along here. If you sit in them, you can see the beautiful view of the sea and everything that's going on round here. Even since I've been up here, the, um, the Lyko Roski's opened. seems like at the moment every time I'm coming up around this way there is a few more bits opening being restaurants or tourist shops or cafes there's a few little more bits and pieces that are, are opening it does look promising doesn't it so as we are walking parallel to the sea all the time you can see little glimpses of the sea on the right hand side just up here now there is a turning on the right hand side that's where we're going to go down there you can go straight on but I always choose to walk to the right here takes a nice little road um, nice little walk still parallel to the sea and you can get, keep on getting glimpses of the sea as you walk which I think is quite nice there are some lovely places around though aren't there So if you are coming here and you fancy a little bit of silence, should I say, away from everybody, just around the corner here, got this lovely little beach here, sandy beach as you can see, it's very peaceful. Apart from the little cafe across the road, there isn't a lot here, so it would be advisable to um 
bring you those snacks if you are staying here. It's a lovely little beach though, look at it. It's what I call these secret beaches. It's really only walking distance from the main, main beach as well. Yeah, some beautiful walks on the whole island actually, doesn't matter what sort of thing you like, if it's sort of off the track or cycle routes or whatever, anything like that at all. There's plenty of them. And there are, apart from obviously the internet, you can get some really good informative books to tell you where they are. So as I was saying, the road runs parallel to the sea. So the, every, quite often you'll find these little paths and things that take you down to the sea edge. Which is just perfect to stop and have a drink or some sandwiches you brought them or whatever. This is lovely, isn't it? More or less parallel to where we started to walk, can't we? It's lovely, isn't it, just to see it all. If you like your underwater scuba diving and that sort of thing, this is absolutely perfect round here for it. Do you know, if I was here on holiday, I'd love to do this walk. I went there every night, but a good handful of times because it's, it's so nice to do something after every evening meal, isn't it? And with this for um, the view, you really couldn't want anything more, could you? We've got a couple of skaters up here as well. They're doing their own YouTube video. But this is as far really as you can go on the walk. A few houses a little bit further around here. But on the left behind me, you've actually got the port. And if you don't know where the port is, you'll never find it because it is so off the beaten track as it were. There's a tiny little entrance to it, but it's just up this little, little lane there. And this is the entrance to um, Santa Ponza. It's just so special up here, isn't it? You really could just bring a drink up here and sit here and just watch the world go past. That's port down there. We'll be going to have a look at that in a minute. All the houses up there. I didn't realize there were so many. If you look at my video that comes up next, suggested one, the um, Santa Ponza by drone. You'll see up here, because I managed to get the drone right up here, but it's quite windy today. So now I've left the statue behind and the skaters. And it's just gonna have a little look at the entrance to the port and the port itself now. Have a look what boats we can find. So I said it's really strange though, because unless you know the port's there, you can walk right past it. It's, it's really, it's remarkable to think it's down there. So that's the port there. It's got cafe, shops, everything else you expect to it. That's the entrance just down there. So should we go and have a look at what the boats are like? You don't actually realise how big Santa Ponza is until you actually walk around the place. 
It's nice coming here on holiday, but it's just nice to explore wider. And this is the thing I've enjoyed since living here. I can actually get out further and um, explore wider. As you can imagine down here, you'll find everything that you'd love to find in the way of a, a boat, a, sh a yacht, a, um, a ship, or whatever you choose to call them really. But this is, like I said, it's a very hidden away little place. After a while, when you've been walking around different ports in Mallorca, you do tend to recognise some of the names of the boats from different ports. And apparently, it's actually unlucky to rename your boat once you bought it, if you bought it second hand, it's actually unlucky to rename it. And of course, being a, an island, there's well, dozens of ports in Mallorca. Every time you seem to go around the coast on every, every corner, Look at that, it's one from Paul there, in Dorset. Yeah, just seem to, you just seem to find more and more of them. So the amount of boats that must be on the island, you know, owned by residents and things, is absolutely incredible, isn't it, when you actually think about it. And they're not cheap things to run, are they? So I was saying you really don't appreciate how big these ports are, do you, to actually walk around them. We were standing up there looking. You wouldn't have believed all this was down here, would you? You can rent boats down here. Normally I've got a couple of boats for sale, but they don't seem to have today. If you are a boat lover, just imagine living in one of these apartment stroke filler houses round here. You'd be in dreamland, wouldn't you? Well, that's enough of the port anyway. Let's head more towards town and see how many shops are open up the town. Now, some of these here are only ones that people like you and me would ever dream of buying, aren't they? They're huge. So we've got a few of the um, English bars, all closed up as you can see, unfortunately for now. Have a nice swing round, have a look at a beautiful beach. Seems to be only the the cafe bars that are aimed for the locals seem to be open. Anything at all that seems to be aimed for the tourists market still seems to be closed at the moment. Let's hope all that changes shortly. I can understand why the um, tourist bars are still closed. You have to see, wait and see if, if they do manage to open at all this year. Now this is the centre here where you get your buses and your taxis. There's a few restaurants around here as you can see. If you do own a, a business of some kind over here from um, an excursion down to whatever and you fancy a bit of advertising then please get in touch and I'll 
come and make a little video for you and put it on my YouTube page. Now this road we're approaching now, I think it's, it's mainly a, a locals road with a few bars, restaurants and the main shops and banks and so on up there. The only reason I say it like that is because it mainly opens all year. If you're coming here in the winter and you fancy something to eat, the chances are this is the road you will head towards. This is one of the main roads in and main roads out of Santa Ponsa. The motorway itself is just at the top of this road here, which takes you towards um, Magaluf, Palmanova, Palma, that sort of direction. But as I said, this is the road where more or less everything happens. Covid test centre now open. It puts everything in perspective that does, doesn't it? Now this is the hotel that a lot of people talk about. It's the Pirates Village. I'm not sure if it's the biggest one in Santa Ponsa. But it's well popular with children. They do um, pirate games in there with them at the back. They've got swimming pools, as you can imagine. You know, it's 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 well known for the pirates theme and keeping children entertained. Yeah, so it's Turismo. Have you stayed in there before? I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Please um, put them down in the comments box below. Just go across the road now and then head back towards the car. So you can see you've even got spec savers there. So everything you do need, you can get on the island. You know, pet shop and things, you know. It's just normal, you know, just normal things we need to live on. And even a laundrette. Look at the size of that laundrette. Three shops. One do it yourself, as it were. And one you take it to, and then um, one where they repair your stuff. Repair your clothes. So that's the pirates from across the road. It's a very impressive building, isn't it? And now back down to the roundabout again. You know, you've got a lot of, still a lot of shops waiting to open, but they're all mainly for the tourists, aren't they? Like that big corner one there. So I've just gone around the corner a little bit now. I'm going to continue up this road here until we get to the um, Burger King and then back to my car again and back home. Just gonna have a quick look now, see what shops up this end are open. Looks absolutely nice, doesn't it, over the wooded area. But there's a few bits and pieces open in there. Still a lot more to open if they do open this year. It's like a waiting game, isn't it, to find out what happens and what doesn't, as it were. Little Santa Piz, Santa Ponza Beach Bar is open anyway, so that's that's nice to have a little drink in it. A lot of hotels are closed at the moment. Always makes me surprised across the road here, McDonald's. That's closed at the moment. I would have thought they would have been open, even if it was just for the locals. It does seem strange to me, a big company like McDonald's. Hey ho. Well, I had to finish the film on the beach itself. Because when the sun's hitting the um, sea, it looks absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? Just proves how many people have not been on this sand today, because it's still 
rate up from we was this morning when we were down here. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's film. If you did, I'd love you to give a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget the Facebook page, Love in Love Mallorca. And I'll see you in the next film. Now I'm going for a paddle.